Hello and welcome back again to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. If you watched uh, the previous episode, you're aware that uh, I'm doing a two-car project here, which unfortunately turned out to be deceptively similar. These are both LX550 LX LX550s, except that one of them is a LX550S. And it has a V8. This is LX550, and it has a V6. This one has LX550S with a V8. So I'm not going to be able to build these this uh, quite exactly the same way. Um, I've already got the V6 over here on the stand, so let's start ripping this apart, and we can put it together and throw it in the black car. I haven't done a lot of these V6s, so these parts aren't super familiar to me. Taking them apart is a little bit different from what I'm used to. And we will, of course, be throwing away anything that we can replace with a performance part. What, oh, the throttle, it's back there. At least this thing doesn't have a bunch of camshaft caps. That's a small. That's a uh, small. What's the word I want? Small favor? No. Yeah, there are. I was going to say, are there even any pistons in this thing? And there are. It doesn't look like any... No, there's one rod cap. So I need to buy at least two... I need to buy two crankshaft caps. No. I'm going to go ahead and buy six rod caps just in case. So engine head A and B, V6B, camshaft V6B, four of those, and which exhaust manifold was it? 
this intake manifold and this exhaust manifold. No, those are both intake manifolds. So t the exhaust manifold is the outside fuel rail, throttle. Yeah, I think we've just about racked up everything we can get from there. Let's get the spark plugs too while I'm at it. Okay, let's flush the junk parts that we've already replaced. I remember to get I need to remember to get the belt tensioner. The crankshaft might be repairable. The cam gears I need to remember. Uh, the engine head cover maybe, the rollers, the piston rings, the belt. I'll keep that because I need to remember it. The rings, piston. Already replaced the throttle. Gonna need four of those cam gears. Got the manifold, got the head, rings, camshaft rings. Timing cover might be repairable. I got the manifold. Let's get the pulley and the belt. Was it A or B? B. Probably need A also. And a belt tensioner. Let's buy four cam gears. Five roller A's. Okay, let's see what we can repair now. Not terrible. Didn't repair the water pump. So, probably need four of those camshaft bearings. Yeah, I need four of them. What about the oil too? V6 oil. V6B. This is a V6B engine. I guess it doesn't use the V. I guess there isn't an oil. V6 oil. Oil filter I6, alternator, power steering pump. Oh dear. No, that's the straight six. It messed me up there for a second. That's where the that's where the straight six engine, not the V6. So 
so power steering pump V6B and alternator. Oh, and there's an arm. Arm V6B. Another roller goes on that. But not yet. Have to get the timing built first. I wonder if the clutch is sound. I don't think this one looks like the clutch isn't actually going to clip into the into the engine stand. Yeah, wow, it actually <laughs> it's actually ahead of the free of the plate. It surprises me. Okay, now we can turn it over. It looks more like an engine now. These heads are kind of kind of ridiculous. Oh, I should I meant to sell that. Use the performance one, of course. Oh, I need two fuel rails. I only bought one. I don't know what I was thinking. Of course I would need two fuel rails. Yeah, there's that other serpentine belt. I only have, let's see, I need timing cover B and C. And there's the engine head cover, too. There's like four of them. I think I need like one B and three C's. What do I have? I have a... I have a C. So you need to buy one B because that's where the oil fill point is. And the rest of them just have the... F the, the, pl the the flat plate. Ah, 
I should have known. And the front of this engine looks like it's made of plastic, doesn't it? I mean, co compare the engine block here to this timing cover, it looks like plastic. Oh man, I knew I should have bought two of those. I don't know why I thought only one. Exhaust manifold V6B. I don't know why, it's because the engine only has one pipe going back because it has a like a it has like a Y shaped front exhaust section. Oh look at that thermostat in the back. I know I don't have one of them. Engine head cover A. So I need two engine head cover A. There's the spark plugs. I was just thinking I haven't put the damn spark plugs in yet. And of course they need coils. Okay, I think that's done. It looks like everything is where it's supposed to be. And this is the other engine we're going to build and this one is even this one is basically going to be built from scratch. It's like nothing to it. There's like it's a block and a crankshaft and a couple of pistons. Oh, I need my engine crane.
we'll get the drivetrain installed, and then this car will be done. Yep, there she is, 100% across the board. I'll go ahead and shoot it to the dyno real quick. Um, I thought about how to do this because these cars are different, so they're going to put up different numbers. So uh, I'll dyno this car and then put it by the garage door, and then we will do the other one. So, so the factory power is 251 here. We should easily get 400, I would think. And it's not so much power that uh, I would be worried. I mean, it's significantly more powerful than it was when it was new. But, uh, I mean, I, I, I've built out some cars where the horsepower ratings change so much that I would seriously be scared to turn the car loose with someone because I could just imagine myself as a shop owner getting sued because I sold somebody a crazy powerful car. So let's... Boy, we're gonna have to buy so much stuff. I'm gonna get rid of these things because I bought them when I didn't need them. The rest of this stuff... There's still some excess things here. I've got a wiring harness for a V8. I might be able to use it on this. So let's buy the pistons and... I'm gonna buy the pistons and rings and spark plugs at least. Let's buy our crankshaft caps and rod caps, too. Oops, about four there. Oil V8. It was a V8 block, so it's probably going to be this V8 oil pan. And I don't think it was a V8 OHV, it's DOHC. So it should be the green. V8. I hope. <laughs> oh man, I can't. So this this engine we are building from scratch. Couldn't repair any of it. So it was engine block V8 and crankshaft V8. So we need an alternator and a power steering pump. Gonna need a water pump. I'm gonna need, if it's the front end that I'm thinking of, I'm gonna need like 
five roller B's and two roller A's. That V6 engine didn't clip through the plate, but this one does. Okay, so I think that was engine head V8. It is. And so there's a camshaft V8 for this. Two camshaft V8s. This is going to be one of those ones where it sucks the camera in close. Thank God for no rocker arms, though. Exhaust manifold V8. going to be timing timing belt V8 too So it'll be two of these and it'll be this timing cover So let's get my rollers cuz I know I'm going to need a buttload of rollers 5 Bs two A's and a belt tensioner also and a V8 serpentine belt. I think there's two V8 serpentine belts. It's like B belt A and belt, yeah. Serpentine belt A, V8, serpentine belt B, V8, so I need both of those. Still don't know which. Should have bought a water pump too. I know I'm going to need a water pump. So intake manifold V8.
I'm pretty sure that there is not an intake manifold V8 for this in the in the boosted section. Yeah. It takes a throttle V8 though, if I remember correctly though. I think it does. I'll go ahead and buy it just in case. So intake manifold V8 is this one. Yeah, see that big square hole in the back? That's for the throttle. And let's get the DI rails too. Oh, you know what? I meant to buy the water pump too. <laughs> well, the main the main reason I broke out just now to get in here was to buy the water pump, and I didn't do it. may be thinking, hey, he bought an extra extra roller. I did not. It goes right here. Done this engine enough times to know how many rollers it needs. Engine head A. Engine head, let's see, no, that was B. Head cover B, head cover A, and I'm going to need coil covers too. I think this is the same engine that goes in the Bolt Reptilia R2, the non-supercharged version. It's probably why I know it so well, because I built a lot of those cars. They're a nice money maker, um, the Reptilia R2. Oops. Did I only buy four coils? You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, I was saying that the, R the Reptilia R2 is a good money-making car, because even if you are early in the game and you don't have you don't have the the welding kit and all that stuff, you can still buy a junked R2 in the junkyard to bring it in here and get everything but the body condition to 100% with a new in uh, new interior, all the parts at 100%. And still sell the car for 150, 200 grand, and it's—I mean—that's one of the ways I made so much money, as I basically grinded the junkyard. But anyway, this engine is done. We can install it now. That engine fills up the engine compartment way more. I mean, look at this compared to the the V6 engine. 
doesn't take up near as much room in there. I mean, look how much space there is between the front of the engine and the radiator. And the V8 is like... Rah, takes up so much more space. I didn't even look at what the factory engine power for this car is, but I bet it's high. Nice view inside the inside the tire there. Okay, and that should be a hundred percent across the board. Yes, it is. So let's kick this car over to the dyno and test it. <laughs> so the factory power is 403. Remember that the factory power of the other car was like 260. So it's significantly more powerful as is. And the other car we got up to like 480, I think, after fully upgrading everything. This one should probably be in the 600 range. So I want to look at these side by side again. This one is tested at 785 horsepower and this one is tested at 429. Massive difference. And the value of this car now is $125,000. Call it 150, probably 151. And this white one is 140, 128, $168,000. So this is an e. This is a cool $300,000 here between these two. So yeah, um, definitely worthwhile to pick these up, and definitely worthwhile to pick these up and rebuild them and sell them, make a nice profit on them. I think I can't remember now. It's from yesterday. I think that the purchase price of this car was something like $29,000. So definitely it doesn't hurt my... Uh, I won't be crying myself to sleep at all. Anyway, I don't think I'm going to bother with driving... Well, let's try one of them. I'll take the V6. Okay, let's see what it looks like out here in the sun. And it is black, unsurprisingly. <laughs> um, I actually saw... I, I understand now that this car is the analog of like the Chrysler 300 in the game because I, I saw I was driving yesterday on the highway and I happened to see a Chrysler 300 on the shoulder and from the back it looked exactly like this and I was like hey I know that car anyway let's see if we can keep this in a straight line It seems to be tracking pretty straight. It doesn't want to drift. It's so weird to me that there's no bot no nobody in the car though. <laughs> Apparently we're driving this by remote control. It looks like we're 
we're going to get 150. 152. That's not too shabby. I'm going to go ahead and... Now I'm curious. I'm going to go ahead and take the white one out. See how fast the V8 goes. It looks different because you can see that this one has two exhausts and the other one only had one. And in the sunlight it, it looks kind of silver rather than white, because that, but that's because of the metallic. Anyway, I imagine with the V8 it's going to be a little bit more squirrely than the V6 was. We'll see what happens here. started to drift to the left a little bit but it stopped it didn't it didn't whip out I'm having I'm having to correct a little bit but it's tracking more or less straight and we're up to almost 180 190 can we get 200 not quite so the other car did 152 and this car did 194 yeah that's highly respectable for a car like that I think Okay, we're all done. Both the cars have been rebuilt and tested. Now they can go. This one is uh, 150 some, some odd. Yep, 151,000. And this car here will be 168. Yep, $168,000. Oh, I was hoping to break fifty million dollars. <laughs> um, okay, so we just made three hundred thousand dollars on those two cars. Uh, it turned out to be, since I misjudged what they were, this whole thing turned to be a bit more work than I expected. But I, I hope it was interesting to watch at least. If you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching. I appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be doing another junkyard pickup tomorrow, or the next day, whenever I wake up again. <laughs> so I hope to see you again then. Thank you again, thank you again for watching, and bye for now.